you're doing stand up and it feels to me, and this is something I've said a lot over the years, I've said the trick of this business isn't to figure out some new person that you should be who's funny or resonates with people. The trick is to figure out who you always were and then do that in a weird situation, which means lights, mm -hmm. cameras, mm -hmm. people around. And, you know, here she is, Leslie Jones, music, you come out. That is a very unnatural environment. It's very, in some ways, very fake, mm -hmm. but you got to crack. How can I be the person I was who killed at all those parties with your friends? Mm -hmm. And that's what you do. You go into the search of who's, oh, I, Leslie's the one that's funny, not these people that you've been, like I would rip a room and someone would come up to me and go, oh my God, you're so fucking funny. Oh my God, you're one of the funniest people I've ever seen. And I would be like, ah, uh, uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm okay. And she, they would be like, well, what the fuck? And I was like, well, you know, I'm not Richard Pryor. Yeah. And they would be like, well, I don't fucking like Richard Pryor. I like you. Like, give yourself some love. Like, yeah. cause I like you. I've never seen Richard. So I just saw you. And I had to stop myself from doing that. You know, I had to go, okay, so it's you up here telling these jokes. It's you writing these jokes. So it's you. It, you also, adulation you know? doesn't get you anywhere. Right. So if you, you know, I spent so many years, uh, you know, thinking I have no right to even be in the same room as all these incredibly funny yeah. people that I admire. That doesn't take you anywhere. Mm -hmm. That leaves you cold. Yep. They're, you know, sure, they're great. They're great, but it's isolating and it cuts the creative process off. And in a way Absolutely. you have to figure out Okay, yes, yeah, so they're great, they're amazing, but I gotta put that away right now and figure out who I am. And if someone likes that, great. Maybe and, we can get something going. And it's much what, like, it's just the same thing as like Kobe. Is Kobe as good as Michael? Well, Michael was Michael. Kobe was Kobe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's in that same fact, like I was just telling my friend, I was like, I wonder if we're going to have to start letting go of the Whitney Houstons and the Michael Jacksons and the Princes and the admiration for them so we can let room in for these new artists. I just went and saw Bruno Mars and Anderson Pat, Like, Two of the most, that was the most incredible concert I've ever seen. And they are so talented, but I'm so scared no one's going to know that they're this talented until too late. Right. You know, like we got to give them some love. You're Right now they're creating great things. Yes, Prince was incredible. Yes, Michael Jackson was incredible. Yes, Whitney Houston was fucking incredible. Like, but we got to start. We got to support the people who are here now. Who Who is incredible yeah. now? Like, who's incredible now? Like, cause if, if that's the case, then we go all the way back and say, Marvin Gaye was the best singer ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then we don't go anywhere. Yeah. We don't move exactly, on. Exactly. 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 And that's what's wrong with us this whole world right now is that we just, we're so absolutely frightened to move the fuck on. Yeah. We're so goddamn frightened and it don't make no damn sense because if we don't move on, we are going to die. What do you think we're frightened of? <laughs> we're frightened of change. Yeah. We don't understand that we've already been changing. If we hadn't changed, we would all be dead from dysentery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you get what the fuck I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just amazing to me how we're not believing science, how we're not believing our advancement. How, how, I, I was in the airport and we were in this little trolley that takes you around the airport and it's fucking brick wall. I was like, we can build this shit but we don't believe in vaccines. Yeah. <laughs> make it make fucking sense. Right. And, 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 and for us to now just all of a sudden, a profession that we fucking hold so high, we don't even believe the doctors no more. Right. What the fuck is wrong with us? Mm -hmm. What the fuck is wrong with us? And, and I feel like social media has been a blessing and a curse in that because they've given everybody a platform. Yes. People who, who and I love you people, but some of y'all don't need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I love you to death, but some of y'all need to keep your fucking opinion in your goddamn kitchen. Yeah, you yeah. know how some people say, don't say that shit out loud. Some of y'all need to put that on your fucking door yeah. and just keep your shit to yourself, son. That There's a reason that we don't say everything on our mind. Yeah. There's a reason that you have censors. There's a reason. You know, the idea initially when social media first came along is this is going to bring us all together. And then the great irony is that everybody's completely isolated because yep. if I don't like, you know, Leslie, if I don't like your opinion or I don't like what you're saying, I never have to see you or Ever. hear you because I can modify 
everything in my life to block so that me I out. only see, oh, and I've tried. Uh, no. <laughs> and you would never block me out. I try and you just keep showing every, up and I'm you're gonna medium. fucking show up. Uh, but no, but it's, it's true. She I, wasn't even invited on this podcast. I know, I know. She just showed up. You were supposed to be up. here today. She just came crashing through the door. You just punched Henry Winkler and came running in. You, you I love the punching him too. Uh, but no, it is, it is so uh, crazy to me that Everyone can just take a bath in their own opinions and their own ideas and, and never not, be challenged. And never be checked. Yeah. that That's accountability. Yeah. It's just what everyone needs to learn, accountability. Even down to driving. Like, I was driving the other day, and, you know, Melrose is fucked up because of the construction, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so everybody's trying to get along. Everybody's like, okay, we're going to make fucking good do with this. One motherfucker that needs to pull over to the side and fucking back up in the middle of the fucking traffic. <laughs> but no one says anything. No one's bopping their horns. No one's saying, motherfucker, no police there checking. So you're going to do what the fuck you want. Yeah. That's exactly what's going on now. Yeah. No one's getting checked because everybody's so sensitive. No one knows how to say, sit your motherfucking ass down because, oh, we're not supposed to say that. Yes, you are. There, it's, a, it's a thing that's going on now where people are not falling down. It, you need to fall down so you can get back up. Mm -hmm. People are not scratching their knee. I want to scratch everybody's knee. Do you get what I'm saying? You mean you you think people need to people need try to fail. fucking hurt? Yeah. You yeah. need to. People have this thing right now where oh you old people y'all glamorize suffering. No bitch ass motherfuckers. We glamorize being strong. We glamorize learning a fucking lesson. We glamorize, hey, if you make a fucking mistake, you made a mistake, get your ass up and fucking either fix it or keep it moving. Right. We don't learn, oh, we made a mistake. Everybody hug each other. No. You fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. Tell somebody they fucked up. You're wrong. That's wrong. That's well, bad. You know, it's interesting. You just said, I've noticed this recently, nobody says anymore all right, I was wrong. I never hear that. And you used to have to hear it because the analysis would come out, the election would be over, the results would come in, and someone would go, well, okay, I was wrong. I thought I was going to win, but I didn't. Now, people that run for office say, if I didn't win, it was it's fixed. because it was fixed. But if I do win, then it was still kind of fixed, but I still won anyway. It's just uh, it's and, and fucked up. Yeah, and so I think you're right. I, I'm in my life, in my personal life. When I walk around, if anybody says, "You know what? I made a mistake, and I'm sorry," I think that person's a genius. Like I, I have so much respect for it, and it completely changes the way I see them and the way I feel about them. Even and, if a motherfucker say, "My bad, yo," yeah. I, I, I give messages, man, my bad, yo. I, 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 people who project, you know, uh, it's a lot of projection. We have a, a passive aggressive is the new thing now, you know? Yeah. Read between the lines. I'm saying what the fuck I really mean, but I'm not saying what I really mean. Right. You know, and it's, it's, it's disgusting. Yeah. It, it's like we're, in other words, fake it till you make it is making shit float. Do you know what I'm saying? Back in the day when you used to say, I fake it till I make it, that means that I'm going to fake it until I really actually learn what the fuck I'm going to do. Now it means I'm just going to fake it all the way to the top.